the first step in carving our wood spirit is to identify the best surfaces of the material to carve. Try to avoid any knots or irregular changes in grain colour. Next, identify the positions for the top and the bottom of the nose. These marks will provide a reference points for all the facial features. The bottom of the nose can be positioned roughly in the centre of the piece. Make a stop cut on each of these marks using either a carving knife as shown or a chisel. The slot at the top of the nose for the brow should be cut deeper than the slot beneath the nose. Using an angle cut, remove the material from beneath the nose and slope the tip of the nose back to the brow line. Using a chisel as shown, or a knife, remove the severe slope of the brow. Pair away any sharp edges using a knife. Using a pencil, determine the weight of the nose. Also, on a new flattened front corner, apply a center line to help maintain symmetry. At this stage, the bridge width of the nose can be marked in. In order to help carve out the nose correctly, to give a realistic appearance, draw a line from the widest points of the nose to the centre of the brow, forming a triangle. Having applied those guidelines, define the nose recess using a paring tool as shown. In addition, carry out a similar type of cut to define the sides of the nose. The mallet can be used to give more control. The nose is the central feature of the face and has a major impact on the overall appearance of the piece. The best way to create the curvature of the nose is to use a number of gouges of varying sizes. Center a large gouge on the nose and round down while raising the handle of the gouge. Remove material from beneath the nose to clean up the piece. Using a smaller gouge, now at the bevel edge in the opposite direction, curl out from the initial cut to begin to form the nostrils.
Before completing the nostrils, the bridge of the nose can be narrowed to the width of the earlier guideline. Using a small gouge, curve around the delicate area of the nostril. Remove material from beneath the nose to clean up the piece. Using a chisel as shown, or a knife, remove the severe slope of the brow.